Kari. That's the Swahili language. And the Swahili language is an AU language, African Union language. It's a language that is spoken in many countries in, um, in Africa. And if you're going to do business in Africa, I think maybe you need to begin uh, taking some lessons in Swahili language. It's a very easy language. Um, pronounced, the words are pronounced as you see them. Jambo, J-A-M-B-O. Habari, H-A-B-A-R-I. Um, let me begin, first of all, by uh, uh, thanking the Federation of Indian Export Organization, uh, Theo, and uh, James, for organizing this uh, event. And of course, let me recognize the, uh, the dignitaries on the dais, uh, Mr. Ajay, uh, Dr. Goyal, and uh, Dr. Ashok. Um, I was told to come and talk about challenges of global business with a particular reference to Africa. Mm -hmm. Let me also admit that I am not very, um, I do not have the expertise in this field. Nevertheless, I will be able to generally talk about uh, my continent, Africa, then have a poncho on my region and um, country, Kenya. Um, but let me first of all congratulate James for the good work they're doing in terms of uh, um, educating the young population and uh, educating them in entrepreneurial skills. We have the same challenge in Kenya, my country, uh, where we have a lot of youth uh, coming out of university, but these are youth who are looking for white collar jobs. And so here comes uh, um, uh, an avenue for partnership with India, because we know India is the home of entrepreneurship skills. Um, over the past couple of years, the African region has become the fastest growing market and destination worldwide in terms of a wide range of products, services, and investments ranging from ICT and communications, infrastructure, agriculture, energy, manufacturing, tourism, and so forth. Indeed, this is a sharp contrast to some 10 years ago. <coughs> Indeed, some 10 years ago, The Economist uh, 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 paper ran a cover on Africa headline, The Hopeless Continent. 